I'm Brooklyn Sherman and I'm here at the Michigan Institute for Public Safety Education. Today they are holding their Fire Ops 101 seminar and they're teaching people what it takes to be a fireman and what they do on their everyday job. Seven fire departments and more than a dozen members of the media came out for the opportunity to utilize the facility's equipment, burn rooms, and shipboards to receive real-life training for fire suppression emergencies. Participants were given a full set of protective gear before entering a smoke-filled room where the temperature reaches up to 500 degrees. Trainees were taught how to properly attack a fire with a hose to seize the amount of smoke and put it out faster. They also learned how to handle an EMS call and the proper way to care for a victim. My favorite part of the experience is uh, afterwards when the participants go through and, and they'll talk about their experience. And they do always come away with a under, better understanding of our job. It was crazy. It was extremely hot in there. I now have a new respect for firefighters. I don't understand how they can stay on their knees like that with no knee pads. It's really scary because you can't see anything. It's smoke and fire everywhere. However, the simulation is not identical to a real-life situation. What's the difference between a simulation and a real fire? Uh, would be the toxins that are within a household fire. Um, here we use a propane uh, water bath system, so if there's no toxins, but the heat and the temperature and the smoke are identical that they would expose except for uh, the extra toxins that are in the air. It's been such an eventful and exciting day here at the Michigan Institute for Public Safety. That's it for me. I'm Brooklyn Sherman.